This is the post build customizations for the Master Grade Extreme Strike Freedom Gundam exterior pieces. Okay, now that the model's been built and I've actually disassembled certain parts to make it easier, it's time to go ahead and do the decal application. Now, this kit comes with its own water slide decal, so these are the ones that definitely I'm going to be using because Bandai is still the gold standard for the water decals. One thing to note is that there is a choice for which organization that you are going to have the mobile suit be represented by. So there are um, Earth, I'm not sure what AA is. And then there's Orb, and I'm probably going to go with Orb. So I'll just be using these, and I have the diagram here. Even though it looks like there's a lot of little tiny ones, not all these are going to be used. It's another situation where they give way more than you need. The ones down here, essentially, they're the ones that are good. These definitely will almost all be used. But these up here, um, they're not all going to be used. So, and it's nice the way they arrange those so that they're just horizontal lines of every number, every decal. So you can separate them easily and just use the end and keep the numbers intact and stuff like that. So it's, it is a really well laid out sheet. And here's the diagram. You've got your typical. And, you know, even though it's such a large model, there's not an excessive number of uh, markings to put on there. So I'll have this over here for referencing. And let's just get right on into this. I wanted to jump back on here because it was something I discovered while doing the water slide decals that I wanted to share. So I've already done all the decals, but this is important to know. The, um, the mapping document, I believe something happened where the decals, the decals were modified during production because what's happened is that there are a number of places where, I don't know if you can see there right there, but there's the decal right there, and it's like a, a gray, a, a, a standard gray, which is very difficult to see on that color. Now, there was a white one. This one originally would have been gray, but there was a white equivalent that I decided to use once I put that one on and saw how dark it was. Unfortunately, this one here did not have a white equivalent. I noticed after that that just about every small decal had both a gray equivalent and a white equivalent, which explains why there were so many rows of uh, decals, you know, with the numbers going all the way across. Now, I, the reason why I think it's a production change that happened is that there are some silver metallic water decals, which are nice. And I have a feeling that the gray ones were supposed to be silver. And, you know, this color, this, these are a little bit bigger, so you can see that these are actually just kind of just a standard gray. The reason why I believe that is one, you know, granted, you know, here, you know, it's, it's, the, the coloration is just slightly different. You can kind of make it out if you go close. However, this right here, now you see that's white there. That was after I decided to change it. It was a gray decal originally, which you could not see really on the black. It, black was not a good choice <laughs> for the gray. However, if those were silver, that would have looked incredible. So what I did, because you couldn't see it, I decided to change it to white. So... When you're doing the water decals, you might want to check to see what the, what the decal is going on and then decide whether you want to use the gray one or the white one. Um, I found that even, you know, here's a light gray with the gray on there and that's about as dark a plastic that you want to go 
to have these gray decals on. Otherwise, everything blends in. Um, anywhere else where that happened, I switched it up and I used the white ones. So, like I said, I discovered this while doing it. I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know. So, this is future me. I'm going to go back. You can watch past me now. So, thank you much.
Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.